Uh, hello class, I will be uh, demonstrating the exercise uh, 3 to the thermo thermometer uh, VI. So we have to create, a, we have to build a VI and create its icon and connector pane so that you can use it as a sub VI. So, um, so we have to measure the voltage using the plug in DAC device in your computer and convert the voltage into a temperature reading. Uh, the sensor is hardwired to channel zero. So in our case, we do not have any uh, plug in DAC device nor a sensor. So we are just going to use a random um, voltage generator. Okay. So first let's build our front panel. So they have a Boolean control, vertical toggle switch. So you can change it to temperature scale then also you can uh, in add a text here text box here I've just like double clicked it so I just double click and then I can see a text box here so this is degree Fahrenheit Then this is our control. This is our input. Now the output here will be an indicator. So it will be a thermometer. And so as you can see, I can move it up and down and um, I can just go right click and choose visible items and then I can say a digital display. So this will display the value here. Okay, so having, so we are done with the front panel. So let's build the code now. So first we need to acquire the voltage values so I can just choose a random number generator numeric or you can use even like a white noise generator or sign pattern generator. So I'm just gonna use this one for now. And then I'm going to multiply this with 100. I'm going to scale the value. Uh, create constant so I have multiplied with 100 here so now uh, in this code what we are intending to do is whenever uh, the knob is pointing towards the degree Fahrenheit we want to perform the conversion that is from centigrade to Fahrenheit the values we are assuming that the values that we are acquiring is in Celsius uh, so um, so if it is pointing uh, if it if this is this knob is set to the uh, is pointing towards the degree uh, uh, Celsius then we want it to uh, display the values as it is otherwise uh, perform the conversion and that can be done through a select or uh, select function so can yeah so you can choose help and okay, let me just 
maximize the screen. Okay, so we're gonna learn a little more about it. So it returns the value wired to the T input uh, or F input depending upon the value of the S. So this is the middle terminal is the S terminal. Now depending upon its value, it's going to sh return the T value or the false value. So S is Boolean. Okay, so we are going to connect this. The S terminal here. So if it is false, sorry, if it's true, we're going to just pass on this value. If it is false, then we want it to perform the conversion. So we are going to um, insert the sub VI, the C2F, uh, the VI that converts the Celsius to Fahrenheit. And it was a part of the first um, lecture. Ex uh, it, it was one of the exercises in lab one. So the way you add a sub vi is you go you do right click and then say select a vi and then i'm going to choose c2f that's my vi that performs uh celsius to fahrenheit conversion so it's going to take this Oh, sorry. So I have forgotten to change the uh, connector pane to build the connector pane and the icon of this. So let me do this quickly. I'm going to remove this. Delete. To put some image here temperature yeah and then I want to insert some text here so So I've adjusted it to the right. Okay. Now I have to build the connector pane. So there'll be just single input and single output. So I'm just gonna connect this as my input. This will be my output. Cool. Okay, here's my, here is, it's updated here. So this is my input, which I'm going to connect it here. This is the temperature in Fahrenheit, which will go in here if it is false. And yeah, and this goes in here. So yeah, you can see this value here, degree Celsius. It's going to randomly generate it. And also you can put a display here 
numeric sorry not a constant we need an indicator so if you have to create an indicator So this value will be in degree Celsius. Have it here. Okay. Let's move to the front panel. If it's true, so it's going to pass. So this is our, when it is true, it's going to display the temperature in Celsius as it is. Now, if it is in the false position, it's going to perform the conversion. Yeah, you see here in Fahrenheit. Okay, and then you can just go ahead, save this as, lab to no. I want to save it as Bridget okay and then you can build the icon delete and put the image here okay anyhow I can just add a text here So in the example here, they have used temp. Okay. And then you can connect these terminals here. So for the output terminal, you can connect this here. Yeah, you can see that this is connected. Um, or temperature sensor and make sure you save this. And yes, uh, so this is a VI it, uh, with just one output and no input. Um, so we do have VIs like that, which has just an output.